following program is from NET, the Public Television Network. Quetzalcoatl Entertainment presents Quentin's Animation Extravaganza, Episode 27, Cassette Tape. Animation Land. As you can see, I finished my script for Chapter 6 of Himitsu Sentai Goranger. By this chapter, the Goranger's have already annihilated the Black Crusaders. Now they have to... Say, I hear the mail truck approaching. Guess it's time to check the mail. Ooh, a package. Better take it back to my apartment and see what's inside. Hey, cousin. Man, that package sure looks heavy. Oh, don't worry, Gordon. I can handle it. Alright, let's see. Ooh, it's a tape deck. Oh, I almost forgot! I have a bunch of blank cassette tapes in my cabinet. I know, I'll record some of them with this tape deck, as everyone in Animation Land is an audiophile. Alright, well, let's put some of my own cover songs on 30-minute tapes. Alright, so I have taken my covers of Africa, Landed, Mimbo Bay, and others, and put them on 30-minute tapes. Oh, I almost forgot! I recorded two theme songs for the Go Rangers, one with Miyako in the children's chorus, and the other with an adult male vocal group, so might as well put those on tape. Shotaro wrote the lyrics for those songs, so you know we gotta love them. Now that's music to my ears! Oh hey, Mr. Hooper, I was just recording some cassette tapes, as I had just gotten a tape deck in the mail. Wow, I can hardly wait to listen to them when they're released. Wow, even Mr. Hooper is an audiophile. Of course he is. He probably grew up listening to music on vinyl records. Well, it's time to put something on a two-hour tape. I've recently created a weekly radio dramatization of my Goranger manga. This is an attempt to demonize censoring animation, which of course I have a strong hatred for, which eventually got me involved in the war against the Black Cross Army. Might as well put the first four episodes on a two-hour tape. Oh hi, Quentin. I could've sworn the music I heard was coming from your apartment. You assumed right, Bob. I got a tape deck in the mail today, and I decided to record some stuff on some cassette tapes. Wow, I bet people will love your music when those tapes get released. I sure hope so. Anyway, nice seeing you. Alright, take care. Now, if you're wondering why I have a lot of cassette tapes, it's because cassettes were a big part of my childhood. I especially love how they're double-sided, and the fact that if you finish listening to side A, you have to turn the tape over to listen to side B. Looks like somebody's been making music in here. Hey, Susan. Wow, I've seen all four of you today. Reminds me of when I first came here. Anyway, I got a tape deck in the mail today, so I decided to record my music on some blank cassette tapes. Well, good luck with releasing them. Thank you. Anyway, back to my experience with cassettes. I'm completely aware of that cassettes deteriorate gradually. That's the whole beauty of analog tapes. You can play them as many times as you want before the tape is completely destroyed. Anyway, I think I've finished recording for the day, so I guess I could release them in a few minutes. In the meantime, I think I'll go down to Hooper's store and treat myself to a soda. Hello, Quentin? How are those tapes going? Oh, I've already finished the first batch and will be releasing them soon. I bet they'll sound great. Huh. I can still remember my childhood, listening to music on those vinyl records. So glad they're making a comeback now. Well, now we can relive your childhood. Anyway, one bottle of Coca-Cola, please. Coming right up. Man, Mr. Hooper always seems so friendly to everyone. Have you noticed? All right, one bottle of Coca-Cola. Drink to your health. Thank you. All right, it's time to release these cassette tapes. Let's ship these to audio stores across Animation Land. Wow, you made your own cassette tapes? They sound awesome. Great job, Quentin. Very great job. Thanks, girls. It was a lot of work recording these tapes. Maybe in the future I could do the same with CDs. Well, we'll be sure to listen to them! Wow, my first batch of cassette tapes has been released. I'm sure there'll be more to come, maybe even in CD format as well. Come back whenever the Black Cross Army attacks again, okay? Alright, see you later.
This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2018. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is NET, the public television network.